Hello there, folks, and welcome back to Arena, where today we're gonna fire off a singleton for the singleton event. I call this one explosions. It's a board wipe tribal. People are doing some pretty crazy shenanigans, doing the most insane stuff because this format's just slow enough to let them. So, uh, yeah, it's basically featuring Sweltering Sun, Spawn 2 Slats Reckoning, uh, Yeheni's Expertise, Our Devastation, Cataclysmic Glee, Gear Hulk, Settle, eh. <laughs> you get the point, even our revelation. <clears throat> So, the idea, explode everything, make something land, some sort of planeswalker, maybe beat down with a gear hulk. We have a scorpion god for at least creature beat down, so that, you know, we could probably fire in there. We also have a torment of hailfire to one-shot our opponent if we're lucky. Anyways, this is a super long list, and I'll have it pasted down in the description so that you can just copy-paste and import the uh, deck list yourself if you want to... Uh, work with it so with that let's get into it and uh since this is a uh multi uh, game event we're gonna just uh run some multiple videos for this one so get in there see what happens if we go 0-3 this is going to be a pretty quick series but this one feels a little swingy depending on your matchup. You get a bad matchup naturally. Uh, you're just gonna roll over and die with this kind of stuff. But, <clears throat> we'll see what we get. We're on the draw with an opponent that's gotta decide if they like their hand. So we'll let them figure that out and we start out with, um, a little bit red heavy. We do have a car and we have a cast down with two mana. Since we're on the draw, we could possibly draw something, I guess. I don't know. Don't turn one elf me, bro. Uh, treasure map is good enough, I guess. Okay, we're against some Simic. Simic is what it is. Let's uh, toss down this and have options available. Now we want to try and get to our land that we have yet to see. Shauna's Wayfinder is not an impactful card for us, so we'll just let it go. Kamina Speaker is fine as well. Let's actually just try to find our land and blow everything up. Gonti, not now. We need land. Well, at least we have the board wipe for Merfolk, but please, could I actually get some land? <laughs> On the draw, never see a land. Well, I'm glad this is going well. Rashmi, we can still deal with that, but he's going to get a whole ton of advantage if we don't actually get a land sometime this year. Stone Quarry's acceptable. And that gives us a start to our red. Um, we're going to blow up this treasure map one way or another. So if we were to draw, um, I don't know, land, whatever. I don't know what we're going to draw here. In fact, I could leave it be. And if we just draw net land naturally, we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Hadana's Climb means that I have to adjust my plan a little bit. And Kamina Speaker. And if he makes that a 3-3, three, three, then we're doing good. No. No. He complicates matters by doing that. <sighs> All right. Uh, fatal push is acceptable enough. I mean, if we're never going to draw lands, let's at least uh, draw the relevant cards. Now, do they have uh, relevant cards on command? Who knows? But in any case, you have his expertise. Explode the board. <laughs> I'll blow up treasures for this. It's fine. And, uh, Fatal Push, rush me. Off we go. There we go. Cleaned up the board a bit. Hi, honey. She just came home. <laughs> okay, our opponent has Tatiova. That's... Yeah, just more stuff. We can cut. We can't cast it down, actually. 
That's... Okay, th this is annoying! <laughs> Alright, jerk. You wanna play that game? Let's explode everything! We don't want him to have that advantage. I will go with the Fury of a Thousand Suns, but since these are just sweltering suns, we gotta upgrade it to you know, a thousand suns. But anyway, stop playing Legends! <laughs> So we don't have double black for what if we need to gear hulk. We could potentially Karn and get ourselves out of this mana issue. Wildest dreams the legends. I said don't play legends. Uh, I'm gonna play Karn. I wanna get out of this mana issue just fine, thanks. I battle for the four the choices we made. So let's see what we get. Authority of the consoles or Bantu's Last Reckoning. <laughs> Gives us authority. I'm gonna draw a card off of this rather than play authority. Manolith. Okay, well it's mana eventually. <laughs> We're burning through a pocket of no lands, and hopefully Karn will burn us through the pocket of lands when we finally find those. But we have a Bantu's Last Reckoning for uh, their garbage if we find a second black, so there's that. Yeah, there's your stupid Rashmi. There's a Jade Light Ranger. Congratulations on that. Vizier of Many Faces. Yeah, sure, fine. Decides to keep it? Yep. This four toughness at all times is getting a little bit on my nerves, I must say. Okay, well then that's, uh, that makes things a little easier, I suppose. We can cast down this target and we can Sweltering Suns, other things. I think Karn, uh, bringing back... Uh, Are you certain of your decision? Okay, Profane Procession or Seal Away. Do your worst. <laughs> we want to kill Rashmi. We want to kill Tatiova. All of it want... We want to kill all of it. We will never find lands the way this is going. Cast down the Jade Light. And we have this full grip of garbage here. <laughs> I'm just going to Sweltering Suns. We have a Bantu's Last Reckoning underneath Karn if we need it. <clears throat> Let's see them try to do that garbage again. We'll get this stuff out eventually. Eventually! Okay, Karn. We have those underneath. And without man, uh, Profane Procession's fairly useless. So, just keep trying to find the land. There's the land. Okay, there's our double black. Easy. Now, what's in their hand? I don't know because I can't duress and Noxious Gear Hulk, sadly. Well, not... well, not really, no. I want to draw... A, let, let's just have our card draw going and deal with this as it comes. We'll get the Bantu's Last Reckoning whenever we want. This way, at least, we're drawing cards, too. Waker of the Wilds, you say? I do want to dress them to prevent uh, anything bad from happening next time. So, I mean, we're going to every extent to try and... Link Temple of Araska is actually active, does the uh, attack for six. We have to actually take out our opponent now. And they have just an unclaimed territory, so everything is in the clear now. So what's our target? I, I think maybe Bantu's Last Reckoning, but not necessarily. 
Bantu's last reckoning into authority of the consuls buy us some time. And I can't use card because I can't do two things at once. But I can definitely address my opponent. Strength of the pack. And <laughs> to shine a voice of thunder. Wow. All right. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was a mistake, the uh, mortal sun. For the meantime, I suppose we can just hold up settle. <laughs> We're kind of in that spot. But we can definitely do a manolith for two. And then that gives us authority of the consoles. Which keeps our life total strong. And now we can ship it back. So with that... We'll see what our opponent does. I mean, if they drop a Tishana, then they draw a bunch of cards. Congratulations. So let's see what they do here. I'm holding up settle, mana. Do your worst. Now at the end of the day, we have Seal Away and Vraska's Contempt. So everything seems fine there. We'll turn this around. We'll turn it around. But our opponent is thinking, what if they have settle and how do I mitigate the most... Uh, of it. And they come up with a 4 4 as their solution. That is tapped. <laughs> they tapped their target. Good job. So, Spell Pierce that they top deck would be real bad. But we gotta at least try. I mean, can't be top decks. And that's not what's happening here. So off they go. Opponent made the mistake of leaving auto tap on for their forest. Okay, we draw additional cards. We have unlicensed disintegration available with a Manolith and Immortal Sun. So that's an option. This is. Is this a land? Is this, like, is it still a creature is what I more mean to say. Yeah, it just becomes a creature. Okay. That said, he's still got this Vizier of Many Faces, so I probably don't want to go with that route. Um, I think a Seal Away is just acceptable enough. And get it out of here. Then if it comes back, it's just a land. Um... Yeah, until he plays Vizier, I'm not going anywhere. Path of Discovery, that's fine. He can do nothing this turn. Kapala is fine. We have reduced cost into uh, increased cost. That, that's fine. We'll deal with that right away. And we're just going to blow that up now. It costs us four rather than five, so I'm okay with this. So we'll deal with the things he has. Yeah, you better just hard cast that to Sean and get nothing out of it, buddy. So passively gaining cards, I suppose, versus Karn gaining us cards. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'm not going anywhere until this thing's or this thing's out of the way. So I need him to cast something useless and then try to copy it. But he's going to play the Tishana sometime, I'm sure. No, he's waiting till the point where he actually has something. I mean, meanwhile, we're just going to get this advantage over time. So, whatever. <laughs> I mean, technically, we're kind of a control deck, so, I mean, I'm not dropping my finishers. Noxious Gear Hulk replaces with Noxious Gear Hulk, in which case I have a reason to uh, contempt th that thing. Question Canopy, destroy the authority. Yeah, fine. <laughs> 
Fire all your hatred on that. Or you could have gotten your land back. <laughs> Authority, Authority's not doing that much at this point. And our revelation means that uh, we don't do anything. <laughs> like, we can explode everything at this point. We just keep playing our lands. Hope that our opponent decides to actually play something. Seafloor Oracle, copy it. He gets a counter up with a Crashing Tide. Crashing Tide he decides to keep because he wants to protect his stuff. That's fine. He's still not killing us anytime soon. We're kind of in that spot where it doesn't matter anymore. There's the Vizier. That's the one we're after. And there's the Crashing Tide. And now we nuke this. Easy. Extra card, extra card. One of them being a land. So now they can't deal with the Noxious Gear Hulk. And we get some life back. Also a 6 5. <laughs> also a 6 5. Okay, uh, let's throw this one out there too. I'm sure that they uh, have spot removal at most. And they have a p bounce spell at most as well. They're letting us draw the cards. Seems good to me. And uh, how about you? Uh, how about you just don't have that Tishana anymore? Now you have nothing, and I have. <laughs> 13 damage on board. You want to bounce something? Boun <laughs> bounces to draw a card, sure. That's not going to be enough. I mean, we're sitting with a ton of advantage and you let us draw three cards. <laughs> Alright, I mean, we'll just do it again. How do you feel about this one? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, reduction of one. So it's an effective ten mana torment for eight. Yeah, you shouldn't have let me draw those cards. <laughs> you shouldn't have let me draw those cards. Little too scared of the Gear Hulk. And as you see, he would have taken far less damage on uh, just taking the damage. I mean, we pretty much had this game anyway. Just kind of getting rid of the outliers until that time. Yeah, you can sack this and it'll automatically do it for you. <laughs> but, I mean, there you go, folks. That's game one. And we get a win. So with that, I'll see you in game two. Look out for that. And take care. And see you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.